Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can synchronize your Samsung Watch uh, data with Google Fit app. Let's look at our Google Fit here. This is what I have right now at my Google Fit. Uh, this is a number of steps, just a sample. Uh, they, this uh, Google Fit app is not synchronized with my Samsung phone. Not quite yet at this point. So, so let's close this. Uh, first app that you need to install will be your Samsung Health by clicking on Google Play and then you do a search and you type Samsung Health. Install it and once the installation is complete, you have to click on open. Once the app launches, agree and you can allow or disallow, de deny if you want to, but I'm going to allow for this one here. And I'm going to say use Wi-Fi or mo mobile data to synchronize your data and click start. So at this point, uh, what Samsung Health app on your phone is doing is synchronizing all the information, uh, all my information from my uh, Samsung watch tree into the uh, Samsung Health app on my phone. Okay, some information are coming in, as you can see. Yeah, everything looks to be okay. Let's click on all steps now. And you can see uh, uh, today's 3rd of June. That's, then this is yesterday's data. This is 1st June, 31st May, and so on. Uh, for our test, we'll be going as far as 28th of May, just as a test. Okay, let's quickly open the Google Fit there. Uh, you can see the Google Fit. Uh, let me click on Google Fit here. Uh, the Google Fit uh, step data is not quite synchronizing yet. To synchronize, open Play, uh, Play, uh, Play Store and then uh, you need to download a, uh, an app called Health Sync. Go ahead and install it. Okay, once you install it, open the app. Uh, click OK here. OK again on sync direction. Uh, in here, you need to select Samsung Health and then here you need to click Google Fit. And then declare consent and accept. And then check Google Fit connection and select the account that you are trying to sync with. OK, OK. And the next few steps are pretty uh, uh, rep repetitive. You're going to have to enable all of them one by one. So we're going to do steps here. Hit OK. You say allow. Then Samsung will require their own uh, permissions. Hit allow. Hit OK. And then you slide that all permission. And you can see all the other buttons get slide too. Hit done. So you're going to have to do the same steps for all of them or whichever you want to synchronize between Samsung and Google Fit. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them one by one. Okay, there you have it. Okay, the next thing you have to do is click on the green button there to synchronize your data uh, between uh, Samsung Health and Google Fit. And there you have it. Uh, the two apps are synchronized right now. All the information is landed on Google Fit. What you can do next is uh, to launch your Google Fit app here. Click on it. And you can see all the information that are coming in but not everything is in there. You can look at it. Um, what I found out that uh, uh, by default, uh, they synchronized yesterday's and today's information, but not uh, the day before, I guess, which is 1st of June there. So if you want to specifically uh, update uh, those dates, you're going to have to click on the uh, HealthSync app again, and then uh, uh, select the day that you want to synchronize. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick check here. You can see today I have taken uh, 6,151 and yesterday was uh, nearly 10,000 steps and the 1st of June, 4,000 and so on. 
I'm gonna have to have a quick look at it. You can see on uh, 29th and 30th, uh, they are well over, or if not, close to 10,000 steps. So if I go to Google Fit, you can see the steps are not matching, right? So because they are not synchronized, so they, like I said, they only synchronize uh, today's and uh, yesterday's information uh, on Google Fit there, unless uh, you explicitly specify uh, which dates to synchronize. Anyway, have a quick look at it here, and there you go. Uh, that's how you do a synchronization of uh, Samsung Health and Google Fit. I hope you learned something from it. If you like it, give, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks and have a good day.